Paparazzi was another Day One Game Pass release, and may just be the best idea for a game yet conceived. Pet the dogs, take pictures of them, give them a bone. It's cutesy fun at its core, but we aren't so easily swayed by some puppy dog eyes. We're going to let you know if Paparazzi really is full of good boys, and if it is worth your time. Paparazzi exists in the same space as the likes of Untitled Goose Game and Donut County. It is not the most serious game, and shouldn't be taken as such. The core of the game is taking pictures of all the good boys and girls. They are all cute and bounce around in their own playful way. You have a vast array of lenses and filters to unlock and play with. Even one that reveals that you're actually an existentially terrifying camera person. Unfortunately however, that's the crux of the gameplay. Once the novelty has worn off, there's not really anything else worth playing for. Sure, the dogs are cute and they wear funny hats, but if you're a soulless game reviewer like myself, you're bored 20 minutes in. There are missions to complete. These are mostly just finding things in the environment or taking specific photos. These missions serve to get you exploring each level and taking unique pictures. The result is decent, and I will admit, the areas are nice and varied. You will be able to take pictures of puppies in the park, at the beach, or in the city. The issue I have here is that it's all just buried in the menu. The whole game is. You are given a quick tutorial on how to take pictures, but you aren't told about the missions, or that you have a photo limit for each time you visit an area, or that the method of leaving areas is buried in the menu too. I can see kids playing this game for the cute dogs, and I think some care should have been taken to make the game a bit more organic for them. It feels weird to have this silly game about taking pictures of cute dogs have most of its gameplay be navigating menus. The gameplay package here does work, and it delivers on cuteness, but honestly, it's just shallow. There is some novelty here, but no amount of cute puppers and doggos can save paparazzi from getting a 2 out of 5 for gameplay. There is a solid commitment to silly art direction here. Environments are nicely designed and look solid with their simple style. I love the way that the dogs bounce around and the silly way they ride bikes. It all served to get a laugh out of me. There are loads of breeds of dog, all lovingly modelled, and there is also some terrifying humanoids. Everything bounces around and it is impossible to be sad whilst looking at this game. The music, whilst a bit repetitive, also fits the theme and keeps the atmosphere light. Just be aware, if this isn't your type of music, then it will get very annoying, very quickly, and you should turn it off in the settings. Overall, the art direction here is solid. The style looks good, suits the themes of the game, and is committed throughout. We're opting to give Paparazzi a 5 out of 5 for art direction. Narrative is here to serve the gameplay systems, and doesn't go above and beyond that. The story is, you take pictures of dogs and get social media followers. Each quest has a little bit of context to get you going, but that's about it. As with gameplay, what's here is serviceable, but it isn't really all that much else. This is a game where gameplay absolutely takes precedence over narrative, and the narrative serves its role perfectly despite barely being present. Paparazzi scores a 3 out of 5 for its perfectly average narrative offering. Paparazzi is a full package. It is missing that final polish pass, but everything that should be here is. We encountered one bug whilst playing, the menu decided to die on us for a moment, but that was about it. Settings here are really odd, there are some solid quality of life features here, but everything is lacking in detail. There are very select language options, apologies if you're Spanish, Dutch or Italian, no puppy picture taking for you. There are separate options for both simplified and traditional Chinese though. There is a field of view slider, but there is no reference as to the extent of said slider. There is a really cool quality of life option in the moving cars toggle, if you aren't a fan of dogs playing near moving cars, you can just disable them. You can also choose photo size. There is a sensitivity slider, and you can invert both the X and Y axis. You can toggle hold to run and activate simple controls. That last one is a nice quality of life for those unfamiliar with video games. There are no further options to remap controls. Finally, there are sliders for music, SFX and dog volume. You're getting a full package here with some solid quality of life tweaks. But just like the rest of the game, I think a final pass would have pushed this whole package further. Paparazzi scores a respectable 4 out of 5 on our spec scale. Commitment here is solid. Paparazzi is going to take you a few hours to beach. 
but you're more than welcome to spend as much time taking pictures of pucks as you please. The game doesn't explain everything in the best way, but it doesn't seek to actively disrespect your time. Hard drive footprint is also great, clocking in at 825 megabytes. There's a very common theme with this review, there just isn't a lot to say about paparazzi. Commitment here is solid, and earns an equally solid 5 out of 5. Looking at this score, 19 out of 25 seems a little high, but objectively, this is a solid little package, even if it doesn't really appeal to me. Paparazzi is a great way to chill out for a few hours, but if you're a cold-hearted hardcore gamer, it might be a bit cutesy for you. This whole package is a bit of silly fun, and for that, I can absolutely recommend it. The dogs are cute and the pics will warm your heart. There's not a lot to say here because the game just isn't that deep, but not every game needs to be. I can appreciate games like this for being a little different, and it's always great to see silly little projects get put out there. So get your camera, give a dog a bone, and embrace the silliness for a few hours. We all need to from time to time. Yeah.